Hey guys, good morning. It's Callie. How's everyone doing today? I have a lot of stuff to share with you today. And I'm just going to do my regular weekly update and I'll, I'll show you uh, my completed July journal and my plans for August and stuff I got at the auction and yada yada. Hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I've been busy this week, my goodness. Um, I think some of you may have seen, hopefully, my Deco Arts video that I posted. And, uh, oh my God, I'm still blown away. I'm still pinching myself every day about this whole thing. And my mind hasn't stopped um, thinking of things I could be doing, um, workshops, things like that. And it seems like naturally things are starting to roll out a little bit. Um, I did reach out and touch my uh, local children's librarian who happens to live right next door, my friend Peggy. Hi, Peggy. Um, and we got to get together and discuss some specifics. And I was also talking last night um, with my friend Kat about doing um, art lessons for her daughter. And, you know, I just have a million ideas. And you guys have been super helpful, too. Uh, Angela. Hi, little sis. And... Um, Rita and things, you guys have been talking to me, um, gave me some suggestions of doing workshops at my friend AJ's store where my um, some of my work is on display. And so I have some ideas, you know, and it's exciting. But I'm not looking for another full-time job, but this is perfect to, um, you know, kind of combine what I'm loving to do with a desire to teach and inspire and spread a happy message and positive message and... Yeah, I can I can see where this is starting to go, and I'm really excited. So, stay tuned for more of that. And um, I'm yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna think I'm gonna post a couple videos this week. I have some ideas. I want to do um, that boho skirt that I was talking about, and I don't know, m maybe an art journal page. Who knows? I have some ideas, but. Um, I'm hanging out with my kids today, and Tom and Nick, we're going to go to the pool, and my grandson and stuff, so I think my grandson's going to be spending the night, so we'll see, depending on how long he's here this week, we'll be dependent on how many videos I put out, so we'll see how that goes. Um, also, what else? Yesterday, I drew my 500 subscriber giveaway winner, and I'm so thrilled. It was Marianne, is Marianne McMillan, Nana number three here. And I think this is like, that I know of her third giveaway that she's won in a row. So she's one lucky lady and well-deserved. And her birthday is uh, August 4th, 4th, I believe. And another Leo. I'm surrounded by amazing Leo women. Um, my goodness, I told you, my friend Holly, she's a Leo. My sister of the moon, Donathan's a Leo. My friend, Marianne's a Leo. I have a lot of strong Leo women in my life, and uh, it's great. Uh, so that's exciting, and she con Nana contacted me already and gave me her address, so I'll be mailing out her prizes. I don't even think she knows what she's getting, which is good, because this will be a combination birthday giveaway. Um, might be a few days after your birthday, though, Nana. I love you. <laughs> so I'm looking at my notes here. What else? I, uh, I renewed my nursing license this week, which was good. Um, I have to do that. I'm, I told you guys I'm an RN, and even though I'm not currently working as a nurse, um, that will be something that I will continue to um, keep updated and renew and take care of. So I did my four-hour infection. There's the coffee pot. That's for Secret. Secret, are you watching? Give me a thumbs up if you heard that. Um, so I took my infection control course and... Uh, which is great that you could do that online now. You used to have to go into the hospital or go to an outside site, but that was good. And so, um, what else? What else? Uh, I Skyped with Miss Rita on Tuesday, and, you know, true to, it's got to be that my computer is just overheating, and despite, I've had suggestions for fans and things like that, and it doesn't matter. It's just too freaking hot here. I need to get some AC. Um, but we were able to Skype again, and uh, that's wonderful. And, you know, magical things happen when witches and gypsies get their heads together. So you never know what kind of magic we might be conjuring up. So um, good things are happening. And um, what else? What else? What else? Had a birthday dinner for my daughter, Danielle. Um, I think I told you guys she's 27, and that was cool. We got together at our local um, pizzeria that we kind of you know, has become our family restaurant, and there's pinball machine, and 
Um, grandkids love it. So that was really great. And I got to see my son, Jonathan, who came up on his new motorcycle, which, you know, give me three more gray hairs, but he's doing well. So that was good to see him. And uh, I think that's it as far as what I did this week. And I'm going to stop rambling and just get on to showing you um, my haul this week. I talked about Peggy, my next door neighbor, and she um, left me a note on my front porch along with two items because she knows I love to alter things. So thank you, Peggy, and stay tuned, you guys, for what I'll be altering. This is one item she left, and it is a, uh, you know, an American kind of uh, umbrella stand, I think it is, but it's metal. And with my new Deco Arts Americana multi-surface satin paints, <laughs> I'm going to, I have some plans for this, so stay tuned for that. And she also gave me this really cool uh, basket that I love. And I am a sucker for bottles, baskets, and boxes. And so this is just cool. It's unusual. It's nice and big. And I will not be altering this, but I will be finding a use for it. So, um... Yeah, thank you, Peggy. That's great. I'm so blessed. Again, I keep saying that, but it's true. Uh, so that's what I got from Peggy. Okay, last night at the auction, um, wasn't as crowded, wasn't as hot, so that's good. We always have a blast. Um, I didn't get to see Patty. She had a gig last night, and uh, she's so amazing, but I did see her husband, Jonathan, the chef. We go there to eat. I mean, eat and socialize. Eat, socialize, and then the auction. So um, I'm going to just get straight into what we got. Apparently, there was a gentleman whose estate they're handling who was a, either a scientist or I don't know what his deal was, but there were many, many microscopes there. And while I did not get a microscope, and I wish I did in a way, um, I kind of thought about getting one for my grandkids. I don't know. You guys know I don't want to store a bunch of stuff. But on a side note, um, my when I was younger... My mother worked at NYU Department of Environmental Medicine, and there was a lot of research going on there and things like that, and I got a microscope probably when I was about eight or nine, and she used to bring me home authentic science equipment, so real slides and real beakers and real lab coats and just real equipment, and it totally, and I lived on a lake at the time, not on a lake, but next to a lake, and I used to take like samples of lake water and it just sparked this huge interest in science for me um, at that young age. And subsequently, when I first originally went to college, uh, I didn't go for nursing. I did go for uh, microbiology and electron microscopy. And I wanted to be a marine biologist at one point. And so I was very science uh, oriented. So last night at the auction, um, there were many, many microscopes and scales and Bunsen burners and beakers and things like that. And again, I don't really, you know, I was looking for, if there were any clear slides, I would have grabbed them in a heartbeat because they're glass and we could use them in our crafting, right? Um, oh, Rita, there was also boxes of glass for stained glass and stained glass equipment and things, but they were looking for, they wanted hundreds of dollars for it, but I'm sure it was thousands of dollars worth of stuff, but I didn't get any of that. And uh, I didn't get any microscopes, but I did get two microscope boxes, empty boxes. And this first one needs a little bit of TLC, but look at this. These are wooden microscope boxes, and they have a latch on the outside. And if you open it, and again, this one, oh, here we go. This one needs a little bit of TLC, but look, there's the rack for test tubes, and the microscope fit right in here. And here's a little slot. So this I will definitely be altering. Look at these guys. I love the latch. And it needs a little glue. It needs a little love. But I don't know. This might have been a dollar or two. So I got that one. And then I got this big one. Oh, this one doesn't have a handle on the top. Look at this one, guys. Okay, and then a 
again with the racks and it's just huge um, I will be using the oh there is a handle hello hi good morning I still have only had one cup of coffee yet so here we go this is the way it goes anyway what do these labels say caution if your me mechanic if your microscope has a mechanical stage attached be sure that the cross slide is in the central position before replacing the microscope in the case thus you will avoid damage to the precision fitted parts of the mechanical stage these were Bausch and Lomb microscopes very expensive microscopes love 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 these cases so um, again there's still some there if I change my mind um, but I watch it because I know and I'm not gonna buy a whole bunch of stuff to load up my kids with either because they don't have storage space either but so that was very cool and also of a scientific nature I didn't get any beakers or anything like that but there was this you know I can't resist bottles and you guys I gotta get to altering some of these too um, these are just it's a whole box full of glass bottles and there are two different kinds and I'll show you my favorite my favorite are these and they're just specimen jars you know totally glass love these love these so stay tuned for something stay tuned and then there's these white ones which are also glass but they have a plastic stopper which I'm not crazy about but again can be altered or I could put a cork in it um, or many possibilities so there's a good three six nine twelve of these uh, white ones and then eleven of the glass ones so and that was probably two or three dollars for the box as well and I also got um, a random frame you know I love to alter frames so I don't care what the artwork is although it was kind of cool but I definitely wouldn't keep it uh, it's a clown but it's just a heavy-duty metal frame I got this for a dollar um, it's got nice matting and uh, it says he is the sunrise in the smile of the children who watched him clown illuminating the future we are building in the new Nicaragua Esteli Nicaragua Alawitz 1989 so um, I might use that in some artwork or who knows where that picture will be but I won't be hanging it up but anyway got the frame for a buck and then Tom got uh, a box of books I told you I think that he likes to collect uh, Judaica and things of that nature so there were a box of books on things like that but also in the box were these really cool and I have one two three four five six seven uh, standard postage and stamp catalogs and these books are this one's from 1924 okay now I have no need for oh look at this one this is my favorite you guys standard postage stamp catalog 1898 I will not be altering this. I will probably tuck this one away on a shelf just because of its age. And um, it's in pretty darn good shape. But the rest of these, so there's this one, 1924, 1930. Somebody was into uh, collecting, obviously. 1917. Wow. Oh, and here we go. Handbook for prospectors and operators of small mines. Are you kidding? Uh, it's funny. My son actually used to work uh, drilling wells for water, but this is mining. Uh, so obviously some of the, here's another huge, this is 1931. Um, and you know how much I'm a book lover, but you know that I will also be using some of these either to alter or to use for book page. Um, again, this great old paper and these old illustrations and, you know, they're just great. So these came to me in Tom's, you know, look at this. Look at these 
pictures. So these were in Tom's box and he asked if I wanted them and of course I said yes. And then the last, oh no, I'm saving the best for last. All right, the next thing I got, and this is big on me and I didn't try it on. Um, and I almost, you know, it's funny because definitely they get you, I'm pretty good at restraining myself at the auction. I no longer do like huge impulse buys. I know what shows up, what's there, what I'm going to be able to get. Like in the beginning, when I first started going, I would bid on everything. Wah, wah. But now it's like, no, things come around. But I have no need for a trench coat any longer. I'm not working outside of the home. Um, but I could not pass up this coat and it's a little big on me but it is a gallery trench coat and it's like brand new. It's gorgeous, you guys. It's like silk. Um, so it's this beautiful trench coat and I looked up this brand on Amazon and similar coats are going for $150 brand new. So this is long all the way down. It's gorgeous. And it might even be worth getting getting it altered. But um, here's the back. I wish I could show it to you on. But it's just beautiful. $2. $2. $2. I didn't think I got it. I bid one. It went to two. I thought someone went to three. And I said like this. Because I don't. And then he's like. 182 you got it two bucks so two dollars for this um and again i don't know maybe i'll give it away or maybe i'll have it altered but it's just beautiful on it but i tried it on it is big so that and then i saw these uh nick and i both spied these when we first walked in um i got there's two of these and one of them has a little bit of a broken spot on it but they're light covers and they actually came with blue light bulbs with a like a ceiling fixture but not with plugs it was like you had to wire it like into a fan so um i'll show you they're metal and glass this is just the auction sticker okay and they're heavy and the light fixture would fit in here okay so the bottoms are open and so to put this over a candle, and I got two of them. Or, again, to rewire, it would not take a lot to hang another bulb in, inside, to have a bulb hanging. Um, and there's holes on either side, so you can definitely um, suspend these. There's three, so actually three holes, so you could suspend them from the ceiling if you want. But aren't these great? It's this blue glass and metal all the way around. I just, I fell in love with these. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, they may have been like 10 bucks. No more than $10. So these are my absolute favorite. And I really can't wait to, I already put one over a candle last night, but they're just right up my alley, funky and little, little hippie-ish, you know, a little boho action going on. So you never know what you get at the auction, you know, and it's so much fun. We had so much fun. So that's what I got at the auction. And then I'm going to show you guys my July, my completed July journal. Um, for those of you who have stuck around and know me, you know that I have done a uh, different type of mixed media journal um, for each month this year. And that's my plan is to, to continue out the year. And I have been seven for seven, although I did not, I completed them all except for June and July. Are you sensing a pattern? Seems like I'm busy in the summer. But I'll show you that, and then I'll show you um, my plans for August journal, because I'm just going to continue. Whether I finish them or not is not not the, the objective here. But it's interesting, you know, as I can look back in a year and see kind of where I'm 
my interests are waning and stuff. I told you in my last video that I've been feeling the change in the not It's been hot, but I know in my head that fall's coming, and it makes me want to pull out my sewing machine. So I'm interested to kind of look back and see the, the ebb and flow of, you know, how much art I'm doing at any given time. Stop talking, girl. So uh, I never did anything more with the cover here. Um, is it upside down? I don't know. So you guys saw this one. Um, I did, I think you saw this one. I did a video on a process video. Um, it was my very, one of my very first process videos ever. So I was pretty pleased with that. Um, and I will definitely be scanning this page. So I'll have it to work with if I want. You saw this page, which I'm not completely uh, happy with or finished with. Um, teach respect, practice peace. And there's a turtle. And I just, I did a video on the borders that I made here, borders for the board, um, which was my very first process video. Please be kind. Uh, you have been kind. But I don't know. I just think it needed a little more, or maybe it's just too busy, or maybe that's just me. But, um, and then... The last thing that I had started that I, ne I have not finished, I'm in the process of doing it now, and this is a total ripoff of something that I saw on Pinterest, verbatim. Um, I, I saw a few of them, but someone did a definition of the word bohemian, and I'm not finished. This is just the basics. I want to um, add a lot to this, dots and flowers and stripes and zentangly stuff. So it just says bohemian. You know, the definition is a dreamer, gypsy, wanderer, a person, musician, artist, or writer who lives a free-spirited life and believes in truth, freedom, and love. And I would add music and art to that. Uh, so anyway, I'm sure some of you have seen this definition, but um, I do want to finish this um, just because. And that's all I have in this. That's it, you guys. It was a three-page journal uh, made out of a magazine. And at the end of the year, I will do a flip through of all my journals for the year um, so you guys can see. So um, that was that for that. And then um, I somehow in the past, I told you for years and years, I was a cigarette smoker. Oh, God. Um, it's been eight years since I've smoked cigarettes, but somehow I'm still on uh, Philip Morris or whoever makes Marlboro their freaking mailing list so I will get these uh, random coupons for cigarettes um, but this is like a poster I don't even know what it says come to where the flavor is yeah they should show this man with his lungs rotting out of his chest and his teeth falling out and uh, ever, everything else the cigarettes are so disgusting but anyway um, best thing I ever did was quit smoking and it's something that I never thought I'd ever be able to do and I smoked from the time I was about 13 uh, up until I was 42 years old so I understand addiction I get it if I can do it anyone can do it it's the best thing I've ever done anyway off of that subject but what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna make this into a journal I'm gonna take this nasty yucky poster and I'm gonna turn this into just a little journal so stay tuned for that. That'll be this week. And what else are my plans for this week? Um, I told you I have a few ideas for videos. The skirt and texture paste. Maybe an art journal page. Um, I used to do these garbage bag beads. I may do that. Big plans. Who knows? Um, what else? My... Uh, I have cucumbers and tomatoes that are ready to be harvested on my garden, and uh, I'm saving them. They actually needed to be picked probably a couple days ago, but I'm saving them for my grandkids today so they can come and pick them. My grandson calls tomatoes, excuse me, potatoes, which is adorable. But uh, So that's been good, and blessed Lamas for those of you Lunasa who celebrate um, the first of the Harvest Festivals. Again, I told you, fall's rolling around, and... Uh, so it's, um, I love the fall. I'm a fall baby. I'm a September baby. So uh, that's it. 
And I think next week, this Sunday, is another production at the theater that I was telling you that I go to, local theater. And we're going to go see Fiddler on the Roof. And uh, I have seen that before, and I look forward to seeing it again. So um, I think that's it, you guys. So if you see me again, you'll be seeing me with a tutorial or some kind of a process video this week. Um, otherwise, I will be back. You know, you always see me on Sunday. As long as I'm here, um, I'll be here if I can. So I hope you guys are all well and having a beautiful week. I love you so much. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you do. Um, and have a beautiful, blessed day. Love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.